When I first started at Vans, I was actually kind of managing our relationship with the PR firm, and we made a determination that we kind of thought that we could do it better in-house. I'm Chris Overholzer, and I handle PR at Vans. So much of it is really building really strong relationships with the media. You send the product out really quickly and maybe you know, hook up an interview in, in a matter of minutes and things like that. So we've got sort of a, a small PR group, just the two of us, but it's more about um, being very strategic. And, and we just try and find that balance in our own way. I'm Shelby Stanger and I do marketing for Vans. We do pretty vertical advertising and, and we really cater to that core consumer, you know, the kids who are really interested in street fashion, the kids who are really interested in music and really interested in action sports and art. The mediums that we use are print advertising, online, TV and outdoor. I'd have to kind of throw in our events in there too because those are vehicles for us. We actually have a weekly show on Fox Sportsnet called the Vans Off the Wall Hour every Friday at 4 o'clock. We're, we're providing them with a lot of programming and at the same time uh, we're getting a really key time for us. It's right when kids are getting home from school. We put a lot into events, uh, as Vans Warp Tour and a number of, uh, of sporting events that we put on. So our advertising budget's not huge, and we really, we look to kind of target um, a, a, a sort of a tight group at, at the top of a pyramid. We also look at who we're advertising with, and we want to make sure it's a partnership. So with our magazines like Teen Vogue, we advertise with them not only because they're a good magazine and they're aspirational to teen girls, but because they do a lot of events with us. We do five events in five different cities at van stores across the country, and they bring in a Teen Vogue stylist, and girls can go into a van store and get styled out from head to toe by a Teen Vogue stylist, and Teen Vogue hook, hooks them up with a ton of swag. And so we really look at our, ad, our advertising partners in terms of how good of a partner they're going to be for us as well. And one of the really cool things about events is it, it offers us lots of different touch points uh, to reach them. Um, you've got the actual experience there on site um, where we can give away t-shirts and hats and CDs and things like that to help build, build that bond. And um, you can also do really cool things like we allow um, uh, people to get online and design their own shoes uh, there at the events and then um, they can print out a, a code and go home and, and uh, order a pair of the shoes and get free shipping. The most important thing about our events is it really sort of spreads our culture. We were taking sort of our Southern California action sports world to Atlanta and Nashville and Louisville and Boston and introducing people to what the band's lifestyle encompasses. You know, when, when we do cause marketing, um, it's, it needs to tie in really well with, with what we're doing. And our company's made up of snowboarders and surfers and skaters. And so it makes sense for us to try to get involved in things that are going to give back to what is making our company successful. You know, helping build skate parks and help um, uh, surf aid build clinics in Southeast Asia and, and surf um, destinations. If you go to the Warp Tour, uh, we actually have a whole area that's really kind of behind cause marketing, ranging from um, you know, signing up kids for Red Cross blood drives to Habitat for Humanity and things like that. That's things that, that would matter to our consumers, but also it matters to us too. Our media mix is evolving. Five, six years ago, TV was probably a little more important to us than it is now. I think TV is pretty focused in terms of we really only advertise right now on action sports networks. Um, print's always important because it really helps us reach you know, a very targeted group that we're going for. For girls, we tend to focus more on promoting a lifestyle and we would do an ad in like Teen People, Teen Vogue, or Cosmo Girl. With a surf ad, you'd see a guy surfing a wave and then there might be a product shot in it as well. So we try to keep our ads consistent with the type of publication that we're advertising to. Um, when we do artist collaborations, it, it gives us a chance to, to not only tie them in with our products, um, but it also gives us a chance to kind of promote their other work as well, and we can we can create special pages on our website that that highlight um, you know different gallery exhibits that they're doing or, or past projects they've done. When someone comes to visit our website, you know they're not going to just see 
you know, just a bunch of shoes that they can order. It's, it's more about um, they're kind of peeling back the onion and find, finding different layers of what it means to be sort of involved in, in our world. So interactive marketing is huge for Vans. Right now we're advertising with Surfer Magazine. And on surfermag.com we're running a really unique promotion where a kid can enter and design his own cover. And if he wins, he gets, his, he gets that actual cover page inside the big issue of Surfer Magazine next year, and he wins a trip to the Vans Triple Crown of Surfing in Hawaii. So that's a really unique promotion where we partnered with a magazine and then took the magazine promotion and drove it online, but it also goes back to the magazine and then to one of our events as well. I mean, a athletes really help make us who we are. Athletes are so important to us, and Vans has some of the best athletes on our team in the world. Um, you'll see that a lot of our key products are tied into athlete endorsements. And um, I'll take probably our best selling skate shoe. It's uh, Jeff Rowley, uh, one of the most influential skaters around. He's been with us since uh, 1999, and I believe we just came out with the seventh shoe. But he wants to have a really good board feel and, and, and be able to you know, grip the board and feel the board really well um, when he's doing his tricks. And kids know that when they buy Jeff Rowley's shoe, that's the benefit that they're going to get. You know, in the past, I think we really promoted more the brand, and now we're we're mixing branding ads with product-driven ads, and you know, Vans has also grown a lot. We've added apparel, a full line of men's and women's apparel to the line. We also just out added outerwear to the line, and um, you know, as technology changes, we're going to continue to do more interactive marketing.